what is a grid tie inverter with power limiter. I'm actually very, very excited because finally the technology caught up with the um, present times. Because of the smart meters that I have one next to my house. So here's the problem. This is a smart meter. And the smart meters, what they do is they don't run backwards. So Nevada Power will automatically know if I'm producing electricity um, illegally or self-made or whatever you want to call it and that could create some problems. So even though I would be willing to give them the electricity for free back into the grid, they would not allow me to do that because this meter will report me if it's going back. But now there is a way around it. Producing your own power is quite complicated because the power uh, delivering companies, they don't really want you to produce your own. So if you are sending any power back into the network, unless you have some kind of like a special contracts with them and all kinds of like stuff, uh, you are not really allowed to. The same way you're not allowed to collect rainwater in Colorado, which is illegal and stupid and it's the law. But now finally there is a solution that you could fix this with. And I'm doing a lot of research on this grid tie inverter with power limiter. And this power limiter is very, very important. And this is what the power limiter does and this is who should buy it. There's two situations with the power limiter, it's, it's extremely important. Uh, let's say that you are running a house that runs on solar and batteries and you're charging your batteries, let's say a thousand watts uh, over the uh, day and then you have a thousand watts in your batteries over the night. If you are using uh, over the entire night, maybe 600 watts. Uh, you don't want to put a thousand watts and drain your batteries all the way to zeros with a normal grid tie inverter. So what the power limiter into an inverter does, it reads how much power is going from the network next to your meter into your house and it only produces as much as to compensate for all the equipment that you have inside your house without feeding the network back into the, the grid and also without allowing the power to flow from the meter into your house because it produces enough to satisfy all the electronics. Uh, it has a smart intelligent probe that uh, can read this over the wire and then it adjusts the amount of power that it produces uh, from uh, uh, the reading that it gets from the network. So this is one of the typical customer that would buy this grid tie inverter with a power uh, limiter. Another um, uh, customer, which is maybe even bigger customer, is the people that don't want to have batteries. And you have a smart meter installed next to your house, so, so your power company says, no, you cannot give me power, even if you want to give it to me for free, I won't accept it, and I will send you all kinds of inspections and all that stuff to your house. So what this power inverter with the, uh, or the grid tie inverter with power limiter does, the same probe during the day, it reads um, how much power your house needs. So let's say your house needs 2000 watts and then you are producing 3000 watts. It will automatically stop producing the extra thousand when your house doesn't need it. Uh, and then that way you're not feeding nothing back in the network, but you're producing enough to keep your meter not running uh, or running very, 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 very slow. Like I'm talking a couple of watts uh, of power, like nothing. Um, so that's the, the big advantage of the grid tie inverter. Uh, if your house, uh, for some reason, uh, you know, like AC turns on and then your AC wants to use 5,000 watts and you're only producing 3,000 watts, then will automatically supplement from the um, network the, uh, the additional amount. But if your um, uh, AC stops and then all of a sudden your, your usage stops and it goes to uh, 2000 or let's say your fridge stops and now you're going to 1500 uh, then uh, the grid tie inverter with the power limiter will automatically downsize the production of the electricity so that way it doesn't feed back into the system because these systems are interconnected so you cannot really disconnect them this is not a inverter this is a grid tie inverter so what it does it syncs up to your network and then it's trying to talk to the network so it's basically fooling the uh, uh, smart meter so it's outsmarting the smart meter 
which is great because as I said in the example with the rainwater in Colorado, it makes no sense why you would not allow to collect your own rainwater that comes from the roof into your barrel because of some illegal stuff. Uh, it's the same way with electricity. You're not theoretically allowed to produce your own electricity and the way that they catch you or the way that they are um, trying to, to say that oh, this is illegal is by reading you with a smart meter. Well, uh, if you install this grid time inverter, basically it uh, takes away that problem. And um, it's, uh, it's actually a quite interesting device. And I am very, very excited because uh, I've been doing a lot of research on it and I'm uh, um, going to buy one very, very soon. And then I'm going to get myself three uh, 300 watt solar panels. I'm going to have a thousand watt uh, system uh, running. And then uh, I'm going to be very, very excited to see how good it's going to work. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've done your research. Let me know what kind of experience you have with this kind of things. Um, I want to uh, hear your voice at the bottom of the video. Um, and uh, also stay subscribed to the channel because uh, I'm going to show you installation videos for this entire system and how I basically going to uh, make it. So thanks for watching. Uh, Crazy Romanian out.